some of the key non-banking financial companies on Wednesday met Prime Minister Narendra Modi to bat for easier regulatory norms. They've asked for a credit line of 30 to 40,000 crore rupees from the RBI as temporary relief. To discuss this in greater detail, we are now joined by R. Vardaraj and the MD of Repco Home Finance. Um, so we understand that you were not a part of the delegation which met the Prime Minister but, you know, as a part of the NBFC industry, if you could just tell us what were the key demands and what has been the response from the PMO's office? Yeah, you, you are right. You know, yesterday there was a delegation of uh, NBFCs and HFCs who met the Prime Minister and appraised him of the issues faced by the industry. I understand uh, they have made certain suggestions like, you know, uh, uh, this being a special window uh, by the Reserve Bank of India to ease the liquidity as well as... Uh, uh, permitting certain NBFCs to take the public deposits and also making available refinance by NHVs to some of the NBFCs. These are the suggestions I suppose they have made. And uh, I, the, the response of the government was positive. Uh, the, that's what I heard. Yeah. But, uh, so we will we'll see. We will wait and see. Uh, Mr. Vadarajan, good afternoon, sir. I'm just curious because, you know, over the last two months, uh, almost everybody we've spoken to from the industry says that, uh, you know, the uh, liquidity situation had eased, that they weren't in need of any sort of special windows. Um, that why this uh, uh, requirement of a credit line, uh, I mean, is uh, uh, accessing funds difficult still? Yeah, you, uh, you are right, actually. Uh, the entire crisis is based on the perception only. There was no, actually there was no crisis of liquidity. One, when one of the, only one NBFC failed, you know the market uh, thought uh, that will be followed by so many NBFCs. But if you see the last two months, all the NBFCs and HFCs they have met the, the entire uh, 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 the commitments they have made in the uh, short term liquidity. That is, there is absolutely there was no default at all. That is a real situation, but perception is something different. Uh, therefore, uh, in, in the market, uh, the, the perception should change. And unless, you know, government come out with certain schemes that it is made available, uh, then it, in the market will not take it. That is one thing. And second thing, what we have seen is, the, one is the availability of liquidity. Number two is, you know, aversion to the risk. Uh, though, though all the banks have told that you know, uh, they, they are ready to fund the NBSAs, mm -hmm. there is some reluctance with regard to some of the NBSAs only, not, not all, some of the mm -hmm. NBSAs. And uh, they, they were also, uh, the perception of risk, you know, now they feel that they have to add certain premium in the interest rate, which, which really, you know, causes concern to the NBSAs because there, there is no change in the risk uh, the year before and today. But mm -hmm. still, some of the banks insist you know, they will add some additional premium in the interest rate, which mm. will hurt the uh, profitability of the NBFC. So mm. that is the reason that the perception should now change and uh, the so, risk aversion uh, should change. So in uh, the last uh, uh, monetary policy, the Reserve Bank already said that they were ready to be the lender of last resort for NBFCs. Yes. Therefore, why yes. should there be a perception mismatch? I mean, what more can the government do to actually uh, remove this perception? And secondly, um, so far we seen NBFCs meet their uh, redemption, uh, uh, you know, commitments. But are rollovers happening? Is there a fear that, uh, you know, at some point in the future, they may not be able to meet their redemptions? That's what I'm telling, you know, the, 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 the perception has not totally changed. Though, though the liquidity has eased, as uh, told by many of the players in the industry, uh, the uh, Reserve Bank has told that they will be the lender of the but there is no special or specific scheme so far announced by the Reserve Bank of India. Uh, so when, when it is uh, coming out with the specifics, uh, that will change the perception. That is the idea. And again, uh, some of the NBFCs, you know, Reserve Bank was very, very strict. Under the regulated uh, uh, regime also, some of the NBFCs should be permitted to accept deposits. Then there is another avenue available to them for uh, getting the funds. Right now, they have to totally depend on only banks and some market borrowings. So, other avenues also should be kept open. Okay. Um, you know, we take your point when you said that, you know, the NBFCs, you know, have managed to meet all the commitments. They've managed to roll over all the commercial papers. There hasn't been a single default. But we haven't seen too much instance of NBFCs managing to raise any kind of fund rate, you know, raise any kind of funds. Do you have any data to tell us post the ILNFS crisis, you know, uh, the fundraising which has taken place by the NBFCs? 
No, I, 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 I do not have the uh, specific instances, but what, what I, I have seen, you know, as far as my company is concerned, we have not raised any funds because mm. there was no requirement. But uh, as far as the, the CPC is concerned, the, the, we found that interest rate is not favorable to us right at the moment. Therefore, we were depending so on the bank borrowing. So what are currently? Uh, no, our our uh, uh, cost of funds as of now okay. uh, is around 8.2 percent, and uh, we are, we are, we are, the, the cost of uh, CPC is we, we found you know it is around that only even for the short term borrowing. Uh, therefore, we thought you know bank bank funding is uh, better to us. Therefore, right now we are uh, depending on the banks and uh, uh, your NHV. But we, we we will not hesitate to take it when the interest rate uh, is favorable to us. Okay, you said that the government response was positive and they've kind of assured that they will take steps to support the MBFCs. How soon? Any timeline indicated by the government? No, no, the government has not indicated the timeline. We, we expect probably within a fortnight we will be getting some good response from the government. That is our expectation.